Hey traders, T. Bradley 90 here. For those who do not know, Alex took on the challenge recently of seeing how much he can grow a $30,000 account in 30 trading days and the results are in and he made $84,000 in less than 30 trading days, which turned his $30,000 account into $113,000. Alex recently put together a free mentorship course with his mentor, Bao, explaining exactly how he did this. The link is available at myinvestingclub.co slash Alex. There's limited seating every single week, so be sure to reserve your spot. As a very special gift to our YouTube viewers, I want to announce something very special. This is my personal phone number, my personal number that I am putting out to you guys. If you have any questions about joining MIC or on the fence about joining our wonderful club, you can contact me now directly and personally, and I will get back to you. Hey guys, it's uh, Tom Dizzo here again. Um, today, um, this morning I made a video watch list um, uh, for, for the members since Alex not around so I was uh, you know trying trying to uh, have something for you guys and um, yeah and and AG, AGTC I just wanted you know uh, to go over this trade because uh, you know I traded this one really poorly and you know and it's it's something I'm um, like uh, I I think you know uh, it could be a really great lesson here, so that's why I thought you know it could be a good uh, you know making a video uh, on this one. Uh, I mean, it's uh, you know I still made sixty cents on the day, but uh, you know I f I feel like I felt you know terrible today. I just don't know why. It's it's just really not about money. I made good money man. Uh, I I I made good money today but uh, you know I broke my process and that's what I'm trying to say here it's like uh, you know when even when you have a days uh, you know money is not not the problem but you had the process you had a plan but you didn't stick to it and that's why it's uh, you know it made me feel frustrated and you know kind of you know I, I pretty pissed with myself that's that's all and uh, so yeah, so let's go back to this. AGTC, uh, it's on it's ETB today, and uh, in the morning uh, it's like it went to like seven seventy five, and then dies to like five, and then uh, let me put a view app here. Yeah, and then when it reclaim view app, right? And uh, so I was uh, watching this in the pre-market, and I I didn't touch it at all. Uh, you know, so I was, uh, you know, uh, sticking to my process here, and I did not want to trade in the pre-market lately. And unless it's you know pretty good setup, maybe this one like broke this that line, or uh, you know, but you know, trading pre-market is, is is out of questions for me lately. Yeah, sometimes I broke my my own rules, so that's why you know uh, I lose. So on this one, when it opened, I saw this line, six seventy, uh, and right at open, uh, you know I I started uh, you know some right here, and then quickly cover down here and down here 638 and then when it pops back you know I added back the shares and you know cover everything here so I oh, this first trade was good it's like I my my line was 675 and uh, I, I was risking over this and maybe wait for <coughs> 750 but uh, you know it ended up working nicely here so I cover all and and you know at that time I was talking to James about this like bro it's like uh, the stock is ETB right and it's like you know here you can see clearly the support 630 so it was like you know bouncing off here and it been eating it and same here with at right at open right when stock wash through that you know and quickly reclaim or oh, maybe just me no that's that's fine um yeah and so it dips right here and reclaim back so at this point i i, I was flat 
on 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 this trade. I said to James, bro, this thing is gonna pop back to seven. Since it's an ETB, a lot of people are chasing down here. That was my thesis. It's like uh, you know, and and it's clearly support. A lot of people are chasing here, and when it reclaims, they gonna you know start panicking and cover here. So that was the plan with James, uh, you know, to short back at seven. I even said that, uh, you know, and then maybe it pops, you know, a little bit above. Maybe I I, I was willing to go to seven point five, <coughs> but man, I don't know why I traded the way I did. Instead of waiting for the seven line, I shorted some right here. You know, I shorted some right here. You know, ended up like adding here and here, and then you know, stop like uh, covering right here. So at this point, it's like uh, you know, I, I I screwed up. I got FOMO and went in too early, and and you know, I don't even have enough you know bullets for the seven line. So I said to myself, then you know, what I'm gonna do here is like either I'm gonna stop out, you know, just cut it the loss or you know I could use it you know the seven lines like the seven line now is a ultimate stop for me since I don't have so since my average is is, is um, you know <coughs> since I I screw up my average so there's no way I could scale up to like two seven to two seven fifty anymore right <coughs> so at this point I was you know saying to myself all right so either you know you could stop out here and then you know back to your original plan it was like from 7 to 750 hey traders t bradley 90 here tosh bradley from my investing club chat just wanted to reach out to you personally and show you how to contact myself personally if you have any questions about joining mic about mic in general or are on the fence and need a little bit of guidance before you join for the first time ever i have put out my personal number for you to reach me directly among my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com and our twitter and ig handles reach out today and get any information you need on what makes mic so great and why you should join us today.